All right, welcome back everyone to Xenoblade Chronicles, and we need to go find some water for Fiora. And I don't think I had ever really appreciated what all this is doing right here. Like, what is this? What? <laughs> what is this weird, almost hotel? Like, like it looks like a hotel on the beach because you got all these trees like lining it and stuff. And we got like a little wreck happening over there. I have no idea. But let's head over here. We need to get some water for her. Looks like we got a little spring. Yep. Indeed. All right. So we got some water. Or we're going to get some water in a cutscene. Oh, okay. We got it back to her. Okay. That's a very modern looking water bottle he's got there. <laughs> huh? You got to kiss the girl. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, and the triangle continues. Fiora, you're awake. Um, do you remember? My name is Sh oh, I can't believe it. My first kiss. <laughs> You do remember me. <laughs> that was adorable. Of I do. Shulk. <sighs> that was really well done. So is she like special now? Is she like I... different? I never forgot you or the others. Like, combat-wise. Why? Because... I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? What part didn't you when understand? It <laughs> when Colony 9 was attacked by the Mechon. Whoa, are we, like, going back... What's going on? I feel like we're going to go back in time. Okay, so it is just a cutscene. I thought I had died. I felt the Mechon's claw rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound. No light. No pain. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. And... It felt like there was someone inside me. Hmm. So I wonder, is that someone pre-programmed AI? Is it someone else? Someone else? The one who was controlling the mechon you were in? Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Hmm. Except... It's rough. Uh, I had no control over my body, and I couldn't talk. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. No, Shulk really did believe it. But... The person inside you. Do you know who it was? No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. There was something she urgently needed to do. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping. Or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped, hijacking your body, treating it like well, it's Well, it may not have been her doing it. I, I guess. I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk. I don't think she's totally to blame. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. 
she was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. This is way deeper than I expected. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> back when we were fighting... Against Egan, she knew what I wanted to do and did it for me. Mm. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Mm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. I'm glad to be here. Poor Melly, his heart's gonna break. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's gonna be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunban. And there are a few others we met along the way. Sharla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're gonna like them. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. But nothing's gonna separate us now. Come on. Let's start searching. Okay. So. Uh, we've got... Uh, I feel like I've got a lot to do right now with Fiora. Okay, she does come in at our level. Mechonis swords. I'm assuming that hurts uh, the Mechon, I would assume. Uh, so let's let's look at her real quick. Are there any other items I can give her? It doesn't look like it. Okay, well, that makes things simpler. It looks like... Oh, I need to look at her, at her, at her arts. That's what I really need to look at. Uh, okay, so Fiora Cannon drones Ooh, drones form a cannon Unleashing a large beam in a straight line Talent gauge must be maxed, okay uh, Attacking from behind will inflict a large amount of damage Double blade She does not have any AP to upgrade stuff with though, that's sad Spear blade, heavy damage on enemies suffering Topple Zero gravity produces a special field that inflicts paralysis. Okay. Uh, air fang. Vicious fang attack inflicting break. So there's break. And then there's daze. Okay. Um, healing energy removes debuffs and creates a regenerate, regenerate aura. Uh, special field that absorbs ether, ether drain. Oh, that's interesting. And then double wind, a dual bladed outward slash, striking enemies in front. Okay. And then tension up as well on that. Oh, we got. Some, oh, there's more things over here to choose from. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. And it's been so long since I've dealt with it. It's break. Uh, what's the order? Is days? Wait. Oh, crud. It's been so long. Yeah, yeah. It's topple. Wait, no. Break topple days. Break topple days? Because this is suffering topple. It causes days. Okay, so break topple days is what it is. So this up here does not have anything that inflicts topple. Let's see if there's anything down here. So if I play as her, I'd like to have that. Oh, she's got lock on. Hmm. Um... Okay. I hadn't seen that in so long. I had to reread it. Mag Storm. Release an ether wave striking all in range. Inflicts days on Mechon. Ooh, I like that one. Shut down. Strike an enemy inflicting sleep. Ooh, I like that one too. Yes, give me that one. Second gear. Tense all the, uh, oh, tense all the muscles in the body. Increasing physical arts damage. Eh, okay, that seems pretty cool. Okay, I want Shutdown and, and Magstorm. What do I want to replace up here? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Uh, I want these next to each other. Let me swap these real quick there. Uh, healing energy. I would like some healing. That would be nice to have. Ether drain. Uh, that's probably important, but I'm going to replace that one. That, that's uh, I, I, I like the idea of these better. Oh, let's see, but that's an oh, but that's another days one. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap those out instead, and shut down which does sleep. Uh, let's keep the ether drain. Let's get rid of the double wind. So here's what I want to do. Let's swap these over here for that. So I've got. I've got break, then I have to wait on topple, and then I can do daze if I want to. Otherwise, this does damage to a group. Uh, this absorbs the ether. Let's swap this because this is paralysis. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's pretty good. I want to swap these. No. Oh. How I want to order these is just not working with my brain. Okay, so let's not worry about upgrading any of her stuff right now. Uh, but I do kind of want to play as her. So let me swap. Can I swap? So I'd like to try her out. Get to learn her a bit. Oh, so I need to go that way? Okay. Well, I do want to go explore this beach a little bit. So I'm guessing this is a crashed Mechon. Can I get in the water? I surely can. I'm assuming there's no point in swimming out that, way, that way though. Oros Crabble. Okay, let's go. Everyone, do your best. It's weird just having two people. Yeah, I can definitely do this. Pretty nice. Um, oh, well, he's already got break on her, on him. But I, I do want to see what these like look like and do and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. I don't even know. Does does he have a? Uh, does he have topple? I can't even remember. It's been so long. Yeah, no, he's just got break. Oh, oops, no, that's her. That's not me. Um, or that's not Shulk. Uh, suffering topple days. Break, break. I don't have anything that topples. I don't think he does either. I've got all of his stuff set. Okay. Well, that's not a mechanic I need to worry about right now. Then is it? Jiffum Beach. curious what her regular damage is. Hey, that's not too bad. Alright, I see a mine up here. Any of these angry critters? Nope. As much as I would like to sit around here and farm these guys, since I don't know... Well, I will be able to come back here, because there's a waypoint over there, so... Um, I was going to say, I'm, I, I should stick around here, because I might not be back, but I could easily be back in two seconds. But, let's just go around and explore a little bit. Okay, so I think that's it. Make sure I'm not missing any unique items out here, like this little guy. Hidden in the bush. A spicy papaya. I'm trying to imagine what a spicy papaya would taste like. I, I guess it'd be good. Oh, this goes up. Okay. Uh, hold up. I need. I wanted to finish going up and down the whole beach.
Not that I expect there to be anything over here, but still. Oh, there is this over here. Hey, what's our relationship? Uh, where do I go to see that? That's in here. Gosh, I haven't looked at this in forever. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so it is, oh, I like how this moves. That's really cool. Uh, so it is a good relationship. Oh, and it matches his relationship with Melia. Awkward. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what this, if I can trigger this. <gasps> this is my first heart to heart in forever. Oh, whoops. Dadgummit, I had that menu up. I thought I had a heart, another heart to heart. Dang it. I have to come back. <laughs> I got so excited. I haven't been able to trigger a heart for heart in such a long time. Okay. Nothing else that's terribly interesting. Let's head back up the ramp. Oh, it looks like there's a ramp on the side too. How convenient. Now, there's a campfire right here. Who's who's been around here? And furthermore, what is this building? Is this like the feet of the Mechon? Or the Mechonis or the Bionis? I'm not sure which one it would be. I'm assuming Mechonis. Maybe it is the feet. Location, transformer area. Okay. Oh, can't go up that way. Wait, is there not a ramp on this side? No, there's not. Oh, there's things down there. I'm, I'm really just dying to get through this. I want to figure out what this place is. Oh, a little climbing hatch there. That's nice. Uh, was there something over there I needed to see? Oh, yeah, there's an item over there. Let me go grab that. That's an awful sound. <laughs> Sounds like she's about to puke. <laughs> That's awful. It reminds me. Uh, I'll see if I can remember to overlay a clip of it. The, uh, there's a great old bit. We also have a cop salad with a warm bacon cream dressing. Uh, our final special is... Our four final specialist, chicken. I can't. Chicken. Shulk. Fiora. What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit. Strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. And then a topple. Hey! <laughs> I wonder what happened after the fortress. Where did the others all end up? I'm actually dying to know that too. The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mechon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. 
Shulk. Can't you sleep? Sorry. Did I wake you? No. It's okay. I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks. But I'd like some water. Okay. You should eat. Even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. Hmm. I just run on water. Don't worry. <sighs> I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. It's okay. What? No! What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body, so I should live here on Mekonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Uh oh. Oh. Mecha. That's not good. No. Not now. Shulk. Let me. <sighs> Fiora. Right. Come on, Manada. Don't let me down. The Monado bends to your will. No! I won't let you take her from me! This time, I will protect Fiora! Yes! The Monado's light! I can do this! Can I? It's been so long since I've played Shulk. <laughs> Uh, where is everything? There's Buster. Oh, okay. That was easy enough. Let's go and heal myself. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Monado. It worked, but I feel worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... What's that sound? I wonder if... Is what's happening to him now no. kind of like what happened to Dunbar? We're surrounded. When, Cause didn't Dunban get weak using the Monado? Is that sort of the same idea here? Maybe not directly, immediately, exactly, specifically, microscopically the same thing. <laughs> oh yay, the other party, okay. Of course now I'm dying oh, to know what's happening to them oh, over there. <laughs> where are we? Curse you game. But this side has the characters I understand better. <laughs> You're up then. 
Shala. Or is everybody split up into different groups? What happened to us? Is it just them two? I don't know. <gasps> I've only just come round. Ooh, Where if are the so, others? that's interesting. I look for them, but yep. they're nowhere to be seen. Interesting. Oh. Ryan, um, <gasps> thanks. Are they going to kiss? Huh? <laughs> for protecting me back there. Does that mean yeah. Ricky and Dunban kiss? <laughs> it got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Rhine I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Mm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Mm. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel. But I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally. That's the Rhine I know. Um, back there. Were you talking about that guy, Gabbo? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Rhine. <laughs> Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. All right, well, I have got some work to do. I'm getting Sharla up to speed because I haven't touched her in ages. So, this is interesting. I did not expect this. As far as RPG tropes go, this one kind of turned me around backwards. Like, it kind of flipped it on its head. You know what I mean? Like, normally, the trope is... The, the, the general trope is, we're going to take what you have and strip it down. But that usually either means taking away your equipment... Like in uh, in Chrono Trigger, there's a scene. Well, and and this kind of strips you of part of your members as well, but only because of you, you know only part of your party member gets uh, party members get uh, imprisoned. But anyways, you have to go around and find all your equipment in the prison, uh, so you're stripped of all that. But alternatively, also in Chrono Trigger, there's uh, a time when you lose Chrono. In other RPGs, like we've ha had happen here, you lose everybody but the main character for a short time. But this, splitting up your team, and I'm assuming after this, maybe I'll play as Ricky, Dunban, and Melia, which would be fun. But anyway, so off camera, I'm going to get uh, Sharla up in working order. Obviously, I'm going to play as Ryan. I miss my boy, and I certainly don't want to play as Sharla, so... We will see you guys next time. Adios. Goodbye.